Hello guys, it's time again to check out the new games coming up in March. Now February was a banger month for sure, but it looks like March is going to give it a run for its money. So let's check out the games we get to jump into, or add to our backlog in March. So first up, we have The Thaumaturge, which comes out March 5th for the PC. It's being developed by Fool's Theory and published by 11-Bit Studios. So I absolutely butchered the name of this game for about five minutes until my brain could catch up. But with that being said, the game looks absolutely stellar. In this story-rich RPG with turn-based combat, we play as a thaumaturge who can stare into the human soul and can control ethereal beings called salutors that contain powers that can be used by our character. Now, the game is set in 20th century Warsaw, where the inhabitants are a diverse group of high society, thieves and robbers, and pretty much everyone in between. Now, we must develop our character by making tough choices that will inevitably shape our story. Now, the turn-based combat consists of human attacks and skills, as well as psychic attacks dealt by our salutors. Now, along the way, we can also put our thaumaturge ability to use and influence characters to see things our way. Now, I see nothing but potential with this game, and it looks to put a really unique take on the turn-based genre. is set on the continent of Feverith, where we take control of an exiled prince as he battles his way across the kingdom, gathering allies along our party as we see fit. Now speaking of the party, I'm sure we'll also have quite the story to unfold along the way, especially with 60 characters involved in the storyline. Now the world environment will be freely explorable, allowing players to tackle events as they wish. Now the 2D art style is fantastic, and is what we would expect from VanillaWare and the development team behind this project. The Unicorn Overlord looks to be a great addition to the JRPG genre. Fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. Available March 8th, 2024. Up next, we have a psychological action horror game that gives me chills just from watching the trailer. Now, the game is Alone in the Dark. It's coming out March the 20th for the PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. Developed by Pieces Interactive and published by THQ Nordic. Now, Alone in the Dark is definitely not a new face in the horror genre, as this game series has been around since the 90s. However, horror fans will be happy to know that this reimagination of the 90s cult classic is back. Now, during the game, we'll be able to choose from two protagonists as we explore the environments around us, fight monsters, solve puzzles, and uncover the truth around the manor. Now, not only are the sights creepy as hell, but the haunting sounds throughout the game will also make our skin crawl. The devs tell us that ammunition will be scarce, but evil lurks in every shadow. Now, this immersive psychological story will make us think about reality, who we can really trust, and what to do next before insanity takes us over. Welcome to the Madhouse, Detective. So this one may not be a new game in general, but PC gamers everywhere can rejoice that Horizon Forbidden West is coming to the PC. Now, it's coming out March 21st, and this release is a complete edition release which comes with the original game as well as bonus content and the Burning Shores expansion. Now if you want to talk about an immersive, beautiful world, look no further than Horizon. The environments are breathtaking, the battle sequences are amazing, and get ready to unravel the many secrets in this post-apocalyptic world. Now it's time to take control of Aloy to restore balance of the world, reunite with old friends, and forge new alliances, all while taking out the fearsome machines that inhabit the world around us. Now this game looks fantastic on the PS5, and I think it will be equally impressive on the PC. Run! So next up we have Princess Peach Showtime. Now, this game comes out March 22nd for the Nintendo Switch, and is developed and published by Nintendo. So it's been a long time since Princess Peach had her moment in the spotlight. As the main protagonist, of course, in this game, Peach must help save the Sparkle Theater from the Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch. Peach will be able to utilize many different transformations, each with their own abilities, such as Figure Skater Peach, Dashing Thief Peach, Mermaid, Kung Fu Peach, Ninja Peach, and so many others. Now we can of course use Peach's Ribbon as well for attacks and interacting with the stage. 
Now, this action adventure platformer is sure to please Nintendo fans everywhere. I mean, is there a more iconic princess around than Princess Peach? So this is perhaps one of the most anticipated RPG games of late, and that game is Dragon's Dogma 2, coming out March 22nd for the PC, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and is developed and published by Capcom. So this single player narrative RPG drops us in the game as an Arisen. We'll have the ability to choose our Arisen's appearance, their vocation, the pawns in our party, and so much more as we explore the deep fantasy world. And we can wield swords and bows and cast magic, and all this depends on the vocation we choose. Now, of course, our Arisen has special vocations just for them. However, our pawns that are NPCs within our party can be made up of several different vocations to give a good mix to our party. Now, the world we get to explore is massive and full of NPCs going about their day that may offer up quests or even ask us for a favor. We will have the opportunity to explore the areas of man, elves, and beastrian along the way. Now, the monsters we will encounter will range from everything from headless swordsmen to drakes to minotaurs, cyclops, undead, griffins, and so much more. So get ready to suit up as the Arisen and embark on a new adventure that is sure to be daunting. Next we have Rise of the Ronin, coming out March 22nd for the PS5, developed by Team Ninja and published by Sony Interactive. So we have an action RPG with katanas, a grappling hook, a glider for traversal, and three player co-op multiplayer, hell yeah, that's a recipe for a damn good time. Rise of the Ronin is set in the late 19th century Japan and the final years of the Edo period. And we'll be able to explore historic cities during this time as well as the countryside. Now, not only do we get the grappling hook and the glider, but we'll also be able to explore the terrain via horseback. Now, this project is the first open world concept from Team Ninja, but I think they have all the prior knowledge to create an awesome samurai ninja game, but with an open world concept. Now, like I said, this game will be open world, but will have a strong focus on combat, as it should. Now, speaking of combat, that will depend on our preferred playstyle, as we can choose close quarters combat or ranged combat with period authentic firearms. As a masterless samurai, our destiny will be what we make of it. We will have choices along the way to make that will shape the course of history. As a little side note, they should add like a Keanu Reeves skin or something, but that's just my opinion. So March seems to be packed full of RPGs, which is fine by me. And the next title is The Legend of Legacy HD Remastered. It's also coming out March 22nd for the PC, the Switch, the PS4, and PS5. Now, the Legend of Legacy HD Remastered is a JRPG that focuses on adventure and contains a very well done turn-based combat system. Now, players will be able to choose from seven playable characters and can set on the journey with no predetermined route in place. Now, combat looks to be engaging and fun with a unique battle system that also incorporates spirit abilities in the form of water, wind, fire, and darkness. Now the story in The Legend of Legacy will be strong and in-depth, the music and sounds appear to be spot on, and the whole experience feel like we are really just going to get sucked in. So yet another great title coming to the JRPG genre. So when I think about action-adventure RPGs, uh, South Park definitely doesn't come to mind. However, this next title is South Park Snow Day, coming out March 26th for the PC, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and the Switch. It's developed by Question and published by THQ Nordic. So we now are getting a new chapter of South Park, but the same familiar faces welcome us, of course. Basically, a massive blizzard has hit the town and utter chaos is going on, but more importantly, school is canceled. And we can play with up to three friends using matchmaking or go solo with bots to battle through the snow-ridden South Park. And we will play as the new kid to tag along with Cartman, Stan, Kenny, and Kyle to save the town from endless winter. Now it also says we can customize our new kid with endless possible combinations, such as a cheesy poof t-shirt. So yeah, I kinda gotta play it just for that. And as a side note, the dev team added, and I quote, 
frequent depiction of fart clouds, feces, urine, and other gross ways to use against enemies are present. So, no matter what, you know this game is going to be a damn fun time, especially with friends. Get that fucking out there! Good luck trying to ruin this game. I'm sure you'll manage. So to finish off the list, guys, we're going to end with Prison Architect 2. Coming out March 26th for the PC, PS5, Xbox Series X and S. It's developed by Double Eleven and published by Paradox Interactive. Now this 3D strategy building management game allows us to design and develop our own personalized penitentiary. And we must use our resources to build, manage, and control the prison, and ensure the prison is safe, self-sustaining, and of course, secure. And we will have access to all sorts of new tools to build a pretty sweet prison, if that's possible. And the inmates themselves are smarter than ever and will build relationships that may change how you go about the journey. So if you've ever wanted to design a prison and take care of every little detail that it contains, now is your chance. Just remember that every action has a reaction, which could be positive or may not go so well. So in conclusion, guys, I hope there's a game or two on the list that suits your gaming style, as March kind of has a little bit of everything to offer. Have a good one, guys.